We all know that one person who never gets sick. You know, the person at the office who somehow skips out on the flu that's traveling from cubicle to cubicle. Or the person who doesn't come down with a cold even when their entire family falls victim. How do they do it? Are they superhuman? <laughs> Not quite. Everyone's immune system is different. While some people are born with an illness-fighting ninja of an immune system, most people get sick at least once a year. But don't worry, there are many ways you can give your immune system a boost. This may sound like magic, but the truth is that many of these tricks are incredibly simple. Better yet, most of them don't require any major lifestyle changes. Let's start with protein. Protein is key to forming not only immune cells, but every cell in the body. For immune cells, protein contains an amino acid called L-arginine. Studies done on populations with the flu, as well as on people who have severe burn wounds, found that L-arginine helped generate helper T-cells, which are the cells that show the rest of the immune system what a virus looks like so that it can generate specific cells to fight it. Incorporating certain foods into your diet could help keep your immune system in tip-top condition. Herbs, such as turmeric, oregano, and cayenne, have been used for a very long time for their medicinal properties. However, foods such as mushrooms and garlic have also been known to have a positive impact on a person's well-being. Mushrooms have anti-inflammatory properties and can boost your immunity over significant periods of time. Consuming garlic could also do your health a whole lot of good, as it's been hailed for centuries for its remedial properties. If you want another great way to boost your immune system, all you have to do is get moving. Your immune system responds to exercise by producing more of the blood cells that attack bacterial invaders. And the more regularly you exercise, the more long-lasting the changes become. Research shows that people who exercise moderately five or six days a week have half as many colds and sore throats as people who don't exercise. Reducing stress may also help to support normal immune system functions. One study reported that anticipating a happy or funny event increased levels of endorphins and other hormones that induce a state of relaxation. Chronic stress can suppress the response of the immune system and its ability to fight disease. Therefore, reducing stress may help to prevent infections and other disorders. Sleep affects the immune system in a number of ways. Some studies show that when you are sick, sleep might help to distribute certain immune cells to the lymph nodes where they go to work fighting off infections. Sleep also plays a key role in actually creating the right immune cells to fight off disease. If nothing else, try to go outside more often. Getting outside in the sunlight may benefit the immune system. Researchers discovered that sunlight energizes the infection-fighting T-cells that play a key part in immunity. So, move your body, get some sleep, and eat your fruits and veggies. Do these simple things and your friends will be asking why you never seem to get sick.